and welcome to another video. This video uh, is going to be a discussion, conversation with myself about um, dosage and preparation of psychedelic mushrooms. Now I've been promising this video for a good while. Um, it's just, you know, it is what it is. I make the videos when I can, when I feel inspired, when I feel um, like making one. So here I am anyway, many people have been requesting this video. Um, so it seems like a hot topic and I'm really keen to provide people with the information to make wise decisions about using these substances. So it goes without saying that it's illegal to consume mushrooms, psychedelic mushrooms. It's illegal to forage, pick, prepare. So I do not recommend that. And, um, the contents of this video is purely for educational and harm reduction purposes only. So then, I'm just out walking in a beautiful woodland near Stonehenge. Um, been exploring the local area. And um, I've been pondering on this topic uh, in my mind, thinking about how I best can deliver this video. Um, so here goes. I mean, I've not prepared or planned this in any way, as is the same with my other videos. It's just an impromptu kind of um, spur of the moment thing. So I'm inevitably going to miss many things. I'm inevitably going to overlook many things. So as always, please do your own research. This is just um, a starting point, perhaps a um, an initial touch point for this kind of information so I can give you the basics and the briefs and then I suggest you go away and do your own research to find out more. Okay, so where to begin? Um, firstly, dosage. Now, there is no perfect answer for this question. Many people ask me, how many mushrooms shall I take? What, what kind of dosages do I take? Etc. Now, it's really pointless me telling you how much I take and recommending you do the same because the thing with dosage is it's different for every single person and there are so many variables involved. Um, for example, how sensitive you are to psychoactive substances, how big you are as an individual, how much food you've eaten that day, how much sleep you've had, how much energy you have, how your brain is structured, um, your genetics, all these things have a some kind of influence on how different dosages will affect you. So I think the most intelligent thing to do um, for everybody starting out with these substances is to start out small, like take next to nothing, start with micro doses and um, see how you react with that. Um, and then when you feel like taking a bigger dose to have a bit more of a an insightful experience then go for something as small as a gram or even half a gram and see how you react with that um, because in some cases that might be all you need now there's this one thing that I believe in when it comes to dosage which is it's better to take too much and kind of make sure that you're in the space rather than not take enough because the problem with not taking enough is is that if you, your ego will remain intact so you have this ability to resist the experience and that will kind of produce some kind of suffering or uncomfortable feelings, irritability. So sometimes it's better to take a little bit more than um, what you would like to take so that you're kind of definitely in the space. Um, but then again, you could take too much and be overwhelmed. So it's really just a fine thread of sensibility and res uh, responsibility. Um, and the best way to get there is to work your way up um, in staggered doses. Now that being said, as a rule of thumb, um, I would recommend that most people start with around 1.5 to 2 grams. Um, two grams was the, f um, was the amount that I took on my first experience and it was more than enough plenty enough for, for, for what I wanted from the experience. Um, very insightful, very profound, very beautiful and provided me with a lot of things to work with um, over the coming months. Another thing to throw a spanner in the works is the different species of mushrooms and how these have different amounts of psilocin etc. So 
for example the liberty cap mushrooms that i made a video on that you can pick and forage in the in the wild in england um, and in the northern hemisphere are way stronger than the species of mushrooms that you would get if you grew them in a kit or if you um, had them in um, south america or mexico um, the liberty cap mushrooms are uh, is one of the potent more potent species of uh, psychoactive mushroom so these are things to kind of bear in mind as you um, take steps towards having your first psychedelic experience so just to summarize on dosage start small work your way up there's no rush into these things it's better to find the good dose from the bottom up rather than in reverse um, it's going to be way easier to recover from a low dose trip than it is from a big dose trip. So again, as always, have a sitter, be prepared, check out my other videos on how to do that a bit better um, than I'm going to be able to preach about now. Um, this forest is so beautiful. Look at the, the way the light shimmers in these very thin green leaves I think they're beech trees stunning anyway that's about all I can say on dosage really um, yeah start small two grams for your first time 1.5 if you're a sensitive person plenty enough start from there work up do more research look at the variable um, factors that can contribute to the strength of the experience and make your own decision Trust your own decision. Don't be doubtful. Okay. So the next thing in this video that I'm going to talk about very briefly is um, preparation. So again, this is a very sensitive subject because it's highly illegal. Um, I don't recommend you do this, but the reason that I'm providing this information is because I want people to do it in a safe way if they're going to go and do it anyway. So when it comes to... I mean, I can speak about... So the second thing I'm going to speak about in this video is how one would prepare mushrooms for consumption. Now, this applies to all mushrooms. So I don't have to speak specifically about psilocybin mushrooms, psychoactive mushrooms, because this kind of guidance can apply to any edible mushroom. So first things first, make sure the mushroom that you're going to prepare is edible and is safe to eat. Um, don't go on a whim. Do some research and make sure that you're 100% certain that it's safe to eat. Okay, next thing. So once you've picked the fresh mushroom, whatever that mushroom might be, the next step is to dry it out thoroughly. Now, there is the option of consuming mushrooms fresh. I personally don't enjoy this because, for one, sometimes I don't want to eat the mushroom there and then. They go moldy very quickly, so I prefer to dry them out. Now, the best way to do this, um, I've heard from others, not in experience, is to use a, a food dehydrator. Now, these um, pieces of equipment literally suck all the moisture out of the mushrooms. Um, now, there are other ways to do this if you don't have a food dehydrator. The method that I use is a simple one, and that is to place all the mushrooms on a piece of fabric or kitchen towel, um, on a on a board or on a food tray and just place these in front of a fan for maybe 48 hours now depending on the mushroom it can take a different amount of time if it's a really big thing it's going to take a lot longer so bear these things in mind sometimes a good option is to cut the mushrooms up to make them thinner so that they dry out faster in my experience it can take up to 72 hours for them to dry out fully you want the mushrooms to be so dry that they kind of, they crack when you bend them, they snap. Like people say cracker dry, you know, imagine the texture of a, a dry cracker. They want to be as dry as that. If there's any moisture left in them, when it comes to storing them long term, they'll just go moldy. Um, so it's always, it's better to over dry them to, than to under dry them. I've also used in the past the technique of placing them in the oven on the lowest temperature. Um, so I would just open the oven door slightly, leave it ajar and check them every five minutes because you don't want to burn them. Heat will, too much heat will destroy the, the active ingredients. 
um, and probably any deliciousness in any edible mushrooms. So better to start again with a lower temperature and work up. Um, so that's it really, once you've got them dry, the best way to store them long term, any kind of mushroom, is in an airtight container. Um, this can be a jar, a, uh, you know, a lock seal bag, anything like that. Um, in my experience, I often dry them out so the cracker dry and just leave them in a in a tub with some uh, silica bags. They they also suck extra moisture out if there's any left. Um, so I always recommend that. So it's as simple as that, really. When it comes to eating the mushroom itself. Um, obviously as I said you can eat it fresh but if you've dried it out and um, you're planning on storing it long term and consuming it at a later, at a later date then there's many different options you can have with um, consuming mushrooms um, for example you can make tea with them you can just eat them straight up you can cook them into food there's many options and I would recommend that you go away and do your own research about that a lot of people just like to simply consume them once they're dry, just chew away at them. I don't personally like the taste of them, so I often mix them in a brew um, or I, I mix them with um, another substance like lemon juice to make the flavour um, a little easier and this also reduces the amount of nausea. So it's, it's worth mentioning uh, quickly something about nausea. Regardless of what mushrooms you're eating, psychedelic or not, a lot of fungi can cause stomach upset in some people. And one good way to combat that is to make a tea with ginger and honey. Um, and either have this with the mushrooms or have it after the mushrooms. And they'll just provide a little bit of settling for the stomach so that um, you don't feel sick or throw up or anything like that. So yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. There's not much more to mention, really. It's quite simple. Um, make sure you've got the right mushroom before you consume it um, when it comes to choosing how many to consume start small there's no rush into it it's better to be safe than sorry um, when it comes to preparing and storing mushrooms make sure to dry them out thoroughly using your desired method of choice um, there's plenty out there stick it into google how to dry mushrooms i'm sure people have come up with many more ideas than I can think of right now um, how many mushrooms to take all these things um, can be researched further online but it is so important just to come back to how you feel go based on your intuition um, yeah trust yourself more than anything get guidance from friends seek people that have knowledge in this area um, the internet is a great place for information but it's so easy to get stuck in rabbit holes of information and not know which direction to look. So from time to time, just take a moment to check in with how you feel and make a decision based on what feels good for you. So, yeah, that's it for this video. If there's anything else in the topics I've mentioned that you'd like to hear more of or you have a personal question about anything, just drop it in the comments below and I will get back to you. Um, I'm going to try and make more content. I always say this, but I just can't find the time for it. It's not something I'm deeply motivated to do all the time. I hate talking to a camera. I'd rather be enjoying the, the, the surroundings and the trees to myself. Um, so, yeah, I'll do my best. If there's anything else you want to hear more of, just mention it below. As always, be safe. Take it easy. Make conscious de decisions. And, um, yeah, enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.